All right, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Once again, it's another video, and it comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Hashem Kwadash. All praises and glories definitely do. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to go through a few scriptures proving that. The son of the heavenly father, which his true name is Yahweh Shai, according to the ancient Hebrew, is not the heavenly father. Let me repeat that again. The son of the heavenly father is not the heavenly father. There's the heavenly father, which his name is Yahweh. That's his true name. And there's the son, the only begotten son of the heavenly father, which his name is Yahweh Shai. And those are two separate entities. Let me say that again. Those are two separate entities. And by the time you're done watching this video, you'll at least question that. You know, you'll at least question the fact that, yeah, it really does seem, according to the scriptures, that there's the father and there's the son. And the son is not the father. All right. Neither is the father, the son. There's the father and there's the son. And uh, one of the reasons why Yahweh is known as the only begotten son because he's the firstborn spirit all right he's he's the first spirit that was created one of the titles of the heavenly father is the father of spirits so there had to be a first spirit created and that was Yahweh Shai. he was the first spirit created all right so that's why he has the title of the only begotten son and he was the first israelite to be begotten okay when when the heavenly father cast us away as his people there had to be a reckoning of the nation of Israel. And Yahweh Shai was the very first to be reckoned back to the Father. All right. Yahweh Shai was the very first Israelite vocab to be reckoned back to the Father. And he wasn't, he wasn't an uh, uh, impure Israelite. He was a pure Israelite. Because you, you vocab, you made a statement that Yahweh Shai, you said Jesus Christ, that's how you call him. You, you said that he wasn't a pure Israelite. You err not knowing the scriptures. He was a pure Israelite, is a pure Israelite because he's still alive. And he came out the tribe of Judah. All right. Conquering lion, the tribe of Judah. And he was, uh, his lineage goes back to Judah on both his mother and father's side. Okay. The genealogy of Joseph is in the book of Matthew, the first chapter. And the genealogy of Mary's father, Heli, is in the book of Luke, the third chapter, I believe. I think it's uh, Luke, the third chapter. So that tells us that um, Yahweh Shai's lineage on both his mother and father's side was Judah. So undoubtedly, he came out the tribe of Judah, the king of Judah. So now that being said, let's get into it. The first scripture I want to go into is the book of John 14. And uh, starting at the first verse, it says, Yahweh Shai comforts his disciples, right? Uh, the first verse says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Heavenly Father. Believe also in me. Now there's a, there's a separation right there. Yahweh Shai, <laughs> from the very first verse, you see a separation let your heart be troubled let uh, i'm sorry let not your heart be troubled meaning your mind right in the hebrew the word there is lab which means mind so let not your mind be troubled ye believe in the heavenly father believe also in me also in me now when the scriptures say he was one with the heavenly father meaning one in mind just like a husband and wife is one in mind all right uh is it not written the husband and the wife, they, the, the, the twain become one flesh? What does that mean? Does that mean that the husband becomes the wife and the wife becomes the husband? No. They are joined together in unity in one mind, the husband and the wife. Right? But the wife is separate from the husband. The wife is a woman. The husband is a man. But yet, as it is written, it says that they become one flesh. Meaning what? One in unity of mind. Okay? The wife... Uh, if she's a dutiful wife to her husband, she seeks to serve her husband. Okay? Just like it says in, in the book of Genesis, the third chapter, her desire shall be to her husband and he shall rule over her. That's Genesis 3 and 16. 
Too bad they don't make marriages like that anymore. That's a thing of the past. But anyway, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Heavenly Father, believe also in me. There's the separation right there. In my Father's house are many mansions. He didn't say in my house are many mansions. He said in his Father's house is many mansions. Who is this speaking? This is Yahweh Shai speaking. The one the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He said in my Father's house are many mansions. And that's talking about space travel. That's talking about the other planets. Right? If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Now, who's he speaking to? He's speaking to his disciples. Like the subheading says, Yahweh Shai comforts his disciples. Reading on, it says, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for him to come again, right? That where I am, there ye may be also. And that is so reassuring, man. And whither I go, ye know. And the way ye know, because they knew the truth. Yahweh Shai told them the truth. Plus they were members of the elect, so they got the truth. Pursuant to Romans 11, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained, have obtained what? The truth. And the rest were blinded, right? Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So again, there's another separation. He said, no man cometh unto the Father but by, but by me. Now, was he saying he was the Father? No, he's the Son. How the hell are you going to say he's the Father when he's the Son? All right. Now, what's the subhead and say here? Oneness with the Father. And this is in the Blue Letter Bible. But let's keep reading, right? If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. Come on, man. More separation. So the Son is not the Father, man. And the Father is not the Son. There's the Father and there's the Son. Okay? So anybody that tells you that, that the Son of the Most High is the Father, you can show him this scripture here. Okay? You can start with this scripture, the book of John, the 14th chapter, and just start at the first verse. Right? Uh, reading on, it says, Philip, John 14 and 8, Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. So here's Philip, one of his disciples, saying, Can you show us the Father? What does, the, what does your Father look like? That's what Philip was basically saying. Right? Uh, reading on, it says, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet how, hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me have seen the Father. What is he saying here? Is he saying that he is the Father? No, he's saying that I look like my Father. Like uh, yesterday, um, they had, uh, there's this channel called Decades, right? And I was binge watching um, this, this show called The Streets of San Francisco. This is a show that came out in the early 70s. And it stars uh, Carl Malden and um, Michael Douglas. Now, especially when Michael Douglas was young, he looked like a splitting version of his father, the actor Kirk Douglas. Okay? So Michael Douglas, right, especially back then, he could, he could have said, look, if you want to know what my father looks like, just look at me. I look like my father. So I'm just giving you an example. All right? Yesterday they, had, they kept playing back-to-back -back the streets of San Francisco, which was, a, I remember when, it, when I used to watch it as a kid. All right, and uh, I was binge watching some of the episodes, and Michael Douglas, man, he looked when he. This is when he was young. He he looked like a splitting image of his father, especially when his father was young, Kirk Douglas, which I believe that's a stage name. I I, I think they have they were uh, Kirk Douglas was so called Russian. All right, anybody find his real name, they can put it in the comment section. But that's the point. Sometimes a son can look can be a splitting image of his father. Okay? So this was the case with Yahweh Shai and, and, and his father Yahweh. So that's why he told Philip, let's read it again, the ninth verse, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the father. And how sayest thou then, show us the father? There you go. So he was telling Philip, look, I look like my father. Not just Philip, he was telling the rest of the disciples, look, I look like my father. 
You see me, you see the Father. I look like my Father. Uh, the tenth verse. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? Meaning what? Does that mean that he is the Father? No. He was saying, look, the same mindset that my Father has is the same mindset that I have. That's why he made the statement, I and my father are one, meaning one in the same mindset. Goes back to that husband and wife thing. If the wife is in the same mindset with her husband, guess what? They are one together. They are uni unified together. They are one flesh, like it says in the scripture. But they're separate because you have the woman and you have the man. See? So I hope you can. Uh, I hope that uh, example can uh, resonate with you. Those of you that believe in the truth. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, uh oh, but the Father that dwelleth in me. So he's not the he's not the Father, but he was speaking the Father's words. And no, he didn't have a split personality. All right, Yahweh I didn't have a split personality. Once again, there's the Father and there's the Son. Okay. Uh, he said, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Yeah, and just like the, the works that we do in this gospel, we don't do it of ourselves. We didn't give ourselves this knowledge, this truth. This was a gift given to us by the Heavenly Father through his only begotten Son. It's a chain of command. You have the Heavenly Father, you have the, uh, uh, the, the Son, and you have uh, the men of the Lord. You know, the prophets, the apostles, the teachers. As a matter of fact, the divine order shows you the separation between the Father and the Son. When you go in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, hold on, let me get it for you. 1 Corinthians 11, we'll read that right now. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1, Be followers of me, even as I also am of Yahweh Shai. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me. You remember me in all things and keep the ordinances. So he's talking about order here. The Apostle Paul is talking about order, right? As I delivered them to you. So the Apostle Paul lays out the order. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai. That's the order. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. So wait a minute. If Yahweh Shai was Yahweh, why would the Apostle Paul say that? That would be a contradiction, is it not? Now, those of you that say Christ, right? Which we hate to say that, that term Christ. That's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai according to ancient Hebrew. But for all intents and purposes to make the argument, let's say that you believe that God, the one you call God, which is the Most High, is Christ, right? It says here, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. So, wait a minute. If, 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 Christ is God, why would the Apostle Paul say the head of Christ is God, meaning the Father, which his true name is Yahweh, the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Why would he say that? Why would the Apostle Paul say that? Okay, so that's that's something for you to to uh, roll around in your head. All right, which proves that the Son is not the Father. Let's get back to John, right? John, the 14th chapter, the 10th verse, it says, Believe us thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works, just like us. We, The works that we do is because the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshad dwells within us. So we're able to do these works. Guess what? If the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshad didn't dwell in us, there's no way possible we'd be able to do the works that we do, have the faith that we have. No way. Okay. Remember, Ephesians 2 and 8 is a gift right? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. There you go. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Because I go unto my Father. Now, you know what? This scripture just came to my mind. What, what the, uh, the prophet Stephen saw while he was being stoned. He was being stoned to death, right? Check out what he said he saw. Let's go to the book of Acts, the seventh chapter, the first verse. Now, if this don't prove that the son and the father are separate, I don't know what to tell you. You you just you've just been blinded by the heavenly father, and you cannot see the truth. 
if you believe that the son is the father there you go now this is uh underneath stephan put to death right acts 7 and 54 when they heard these things they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth but he being full of the holy spirit who is this stephan right it was, and all you have to do is read the book of acts the seventh chapter it goes into it goes into the this man stephan who he was and what he did anyway but he being full of the holy spirit looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of the heavenly father and Yahweh standing on the right hand of the heavenly father how you how you get around that so if if the son is the heavenly father why would the son be standing at the right hand of the heavenly father that's because the son is not the heavenly father and plus even Yahweh Shai made a statement he said my father is greater than me he said that so once and for all you got to get it out of your thick skull you people out there that believe the son is the heavenly father you got to get it out of your thick skull that the son is not the heavenly father there's the heavenly father and there his, there's his son the only begotten son and that's what I'm going to prove in this video let's read the next the next verse and said this is Stephen speaking as he's being stoned and said behold i see the heavens opened and the son of man standing on the right hand of god standing on the right hand of god how you get around that the right hand of his heavenly father okay which is our heavenly father his name is yahweh so that's that's you know if, if you can't believe this scripture then i don't know what to tell you going back to john 14 uh, and 12 verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because i go unto my father because i go unto my father and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that will i do that the father may be glorified in the son come on man there's the father and there's the son here he's saying here in John 14 16 and I will pray the father that and the word pray means to beg so he said I will beg the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever and that's the understanding of these scriptures the comforter the Holy Spirit and he may abide with you forever and to this very day we still have the Holy Spirit that's why we're able to navigate through these scriptures and, and know these scriptures that's through the Holy Spirit and the people of the world cannot receive what we have received because if you read the next verse even the spirit of truth that's the holy spirit that that's contained within the scriptures for you to understand the scriptures 100 percent, you have to have the holy spirit and you can't go to the store and buy the holy spirit you can't order it on ebay it's, it's a gift just like everyone has his gift you know a musician has his gift uh, a, a basketball player has his gift uh, uh what else uh, uh, a sports person has has as their gift you know uh we have our gift our gift is the understanding of these scriptures and the ability to teach it that's our gift all right so even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it see of him not yeah it see they don't spiritually they can't see the heavenly father nor the son that's why they make statements like oh the son is the heavenly father they don't know the heavenly father nor the son truth be told because he it see of him not neither knoweth him but you know him talking to us for he dwelleth with it with for he dwelleth with you yeah through the holy spirit and shall be in you there you go there you go uh let's jump down to 20 20 verse at that day ye shall know that i am in my father just like we're in yahweh shai we are in yahweh shai but does that mean we are yahweh shai no we're in the man because we believe in him we have the same mindset as he has and he has the same mindset as his father there's that chain of command at that day ye shall know that i am in my father and ye in me and i in you see ye in me and i in you so yahweh shai is within us man but does that mean we are yahweh shai no okay uh let's read the 23rd verse a lot of meat in this chapter Yahweh answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, 
and my father will love him and we 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 that's two separate entities man that's the father and the son we will come unto him and that's talking about a man in the truth a man who has the truth right the hopeful elect if you will and we will come unto him and make our 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 abode with him so vocab you teaching that this the son is the heavenly father that you you go you ear not knowing the scriptures you going way off the son is not the heavenly father neither the heavenly father the son that, those are two separate entities and i'm proving it with the scripture i can right now i can end the lesson and call it a day okay just by the scripture alone all right Oh, let me jump down to John 14, 28, because I, I quoted that earlier. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice because I said I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I. For my Father is greater than I. He's talking about his heavenly Father. Okay, which is, which is where he sits at the right hand side to this very day. Okay. Let's jump down to the 31st verse. But that the world may know that I love the Father. So if he is the Father, what was he saying? He love himself? <laughs> and as the Father give me commandment. Wait, wait a minute, he gave himself the commandment? Hey, he's, 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 he's saying that he's, his Father gave him the commandment. What he spoke when he was on the planet Earth more than 2,000 years ago. As the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. There you go. And the things that we speak, it was given to us by the Holy Spirit. We don't speak our own words. So here's the next scripture. Matthew, the 20, Matthew, the 27th chapter. Let me see where. Should have. Uh, okay, yeah, here it is right here. I should have wrote the verse down, but. That's all right. We're going according to scripture. I mean, we're going according to spirit. Matthew, and we're going according to scripture too. Matthew 27 and 45. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. This is talking about Yahweh's cru crucifixion, right? And about the ninth hour, which would be uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, the ninth hour, uh, Yahweh cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So who's he talking to? Himself? This is when he was on the cross. Maybe he, he was so delirious with, with pain, he was talking to himself, right? You'll have some wacky-tacky Christian that'll say that. Oh, he was so delirious with pain, he ended up talking to himself. He wasn't talking to himself. He was praying to the Father. He was praying to his, to his Father, the Heavenly Father, which his name is Yahweh. Okay, so this is more proof he is not the Father. Because here he's praying to the Father. He said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Okay? And guess, and guess what? Who's the, who's the entity that raised him from the grave? Did he raise up himself from the grave? If you say that the son is the father, did he raise himself up from the grave? Or was it his father that is greater than him raised him from the grave? Because it's, it's clearly evident that the Lord died. He gave up the, there's a scripture where he said he gave up the spirit. He gave up the ghost. So he essentially died. Right? But who raised him up after the third day going into the fourth day, the beginning of the fourth day? Who raised him up from that grave, huh? He raised himself up from that grave or was it his father who's greater than him like he said that raised him up from the grave there you go so let that uh, thought roll around in your head if you believe that the son is the heavenly father next scripture john 17 here's here's uh yahweh shai praying to his father as you see the subhead in here the high priestly prayer these words spake yahweh shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father wait a minute he's talking to himself or is he talking to his father? He said, Father, the hours come. Glorify thy son. Glorify thy son. Come on, man. How can the son be the father? He is saying to glorify thy son. He didn't say glorify thy father. He wasn't talking to himself. He was talking to his father in prayer. 
was again the word prayer means to beg he said father the hours come glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee and guess what he never said he was the father so you wacky tacky christians out there guys like vocab that's going around saying that the son is the father here's some news for you here's a news flash the son never said he was the father never the son never said he was the father at, at best he said the father is in him but he never made the statement saying that he is the father because he knew better hey saying hey he said uh, he said uh, these words spake Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hours come glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee and and by the way this whole damn near this whole chapter is Yahweh Shai praying to the father okay like we're supposed to pray to the heavenly father and his only begotten son as thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has given him so wait a minute the the uh, chosen few the elect that was given to you did you give it to himself did did the one you call christ give those spirits to himself or, or were they given to him by the father which is greater than him see so anyone that says that the son is the father, they err not knowing the scriptures. They don't know the scriptures, man. Neither is the Holy Spirit dealing with them. It's just that simple. Again, this is a prayer that Yahweh is praying to his father. Let's jump down to the fifth verse. And now, O father, who's he talking to himself? Glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee, with thee, with you, before the world was. Yeah before even before the world was created right i have manifested thy name this is again this is the son speaking to the father i have manifested your name father so is he the father and if he is the father why would he say i have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world who's he talking about the disciples which became apostles thine they were and thou has thou gavest them me and they have kept thy word you go man how you you can't get around this is ironclad you can't get around it okay the son is not the father and i keep i could keep going on but we made the point let's go to the next one matthew the uh 20th chapter now th this this was a dialogue that uh yahweh i had with the mother of of uh james and john right also known as the sons of thunder right so this is matthew 20 and 20 let's pick it up there then came to him the mother of zebedee's children with her sons that would be james and john worshiping him who's the him yahweh shai and desiring a certain thing of him and he said unto her what will thou what is it you want she saith unto him grant that these my two sons may sit the one on the right hand and the other on the left in thy kingdom but Yahweh answered and said you know not what you ask are ye able to drink of the cup that i shall drink of which is basically to catch hell and and like i always say about this knowledge this truth this the, this knowledge this truth is about suffering man it truly is it's about suffering and the ability to deal with it the ability to have faith even while you're going through suffering all right and and let me let me tell you something you you are going to suffer all right we've been ever since i came in this truth i've been suffering truth be told man beginning with elder pastor on down we've been suffering man ever since we came into this truth because this truth is really about suffering hebrews 2 and 10 tells you that our lord yahweh shai became perfect through sufferings now, if you have the ability to deal with the suffering and keep and still keep your faith, then you're proving yourself worthy to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But don't let any Israelite fool you that this is you're gonna have a, a good old time and you you're gonna have a, a smooth ride. Oh hell no! You come into this knowledge, you come into this truth, you learn these secrets. You are going to suffer. All right, you are going to suffer. Okay, so back to Matthew 20 and 22. And it starts with our Lord. Our Lord, our Lord suffered. Is it not written that this, the servant is not greater than his master? And when I say suffer, I'm talking about mind and body. Not just body. 
I'm talking about mind and body. Sometimes you're going to think you're going crazy. You're going insane. The suffering that you go through. I'm telling you. If they didn't tell you, if they didn't warn you brothers out there, and you, even you sisters, you're trying to do right in this world. If they didn't tell you you're going to, you're going to go to the point of thinking you're going insane, the point of insanity, well, they didn't tell you the 100% truth. The 100% truth is you're going to, you're going to think you're going insane, man. The suffering you're going to go through. But there's always going to be that little voice in your head saying, no, this is just a test. Just keep going. Anyway, back to Matthew 20 and 22. But Yahushai answered and said, you know not what you ask. So Yahushai said to this woman, right, who, who had just asked him if my two sons can sit, have, have the highest position in your kingdom. One, one at the right hand of you and one at the left hand of you. So Yahu, listen to Yahushai's reply. But Yahushai answered and said, you know not what you ask. Are you able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of? Right. Are you able to catch the hell that I'm catching? Being in this knowledge, being in this ministry. I have all kind of demons plaguing me, plaguing my mind, plaguing my flesh. There's a scripture where it says that Yahweh I was acquainted with grief. That's in Isaiah 53. The prophet Isaiah prophesied of him being acquainted with grief. So this is what he's talking about here. And to be baptized with the baptism that I'm baptized with. Yeah, and, and guess what? We're, we've entered into that baptism. That's why we're catching all this hell. They say unto him, we are able. So James and John said, yeah, we could deal with it. We could deal with the hell that, you deal, that you're going through, that you're dealing with. Now listen to Yahweh's re response. And he said unto them, you shall drink indeed of my cup. Meaning, yeah, you're going to catch hell. You're in the truth now. You're following me. Yeah, you're going to catch hell just like I catch hell. Now here's the point, ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with, but to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them of whom it is prepared of my father. So wait a minute, if he was the father, why would he make that statement? He should have just told uh, Zebedee's um he should have just told James and John, Zebedee's children's mother, he should have just told her, li li yeah, I can, yeah, what else do you want? Sure, granted, you, you want your, your two sons, one to sit on my right and left, you got it. No, he didn't tell her that. He told her and the two sons, he said, look, it's not up to me to give your position in the kingdom. My father will give you your position in the kingdom. So right again, it proves that the son is not the father. Because if the son was the father, he wouldn't have said that to uh, to uh, Zebedee's children's mother and James and John, which was Zebedee's children. He wouldn't have said that to to them. He would have said he would have said, "Yeah, what el what else do you want? Yeah, no problem." Or he would have said, "No, I can't do it." Right? No. What he said was, "It's not up to me to make that decision. It's up to my father, proving that his father is separate from him. Proof." facts okay so there you go uh the next one is first corinthians which i did read that one i read that one that's the divine order and what is that x okay so pretty much that's it that's it so hopefully you were edified by this video i know it was a short quick one but sometimes we like to do it that way you don't have to make a whole long drawn out video you just get to the point man just like the show dragged it just the facts all right so with that on to the next one